what happens when you get eight of the best 1v1 paintball players in the world and one single tournament with a grand prize of $10,000. Oliver and Hormesis found eight of the best 1v1 players in the US and brought them straight here to Southern California at the iconic SC Village to play in one tournament with a grand prize of $10,000. Today, we've got eight heroes that we've collected across the nation. That eight are gonna match up. They've gotta play a best two out of three match. It'll be a 20 minute match today. It's gonna be a race to 10. There's 20 seconds between each point. You have to win by two. This is the first match of the day. We're watching Chris and Cameron Bushby. Chris Caputo, I'm 24 years old. Play with the Brooklyn Bears. I work for the FDNY as an EMT right now. Hey, best of luck, bro. Thanks, bro. I'm Cameron Bushby. I play for the Vegas Golden Misfits. I'm 23. I live out in Colorado right now. I'm going to school out there and uh, I grew up in Illinois. Here's your coach. Marcelo Morgado will be here. Woo! 10 seconds. Let's get it. Cameron takes the first point. Way to start off tournament. Chris just took the fifth point, so now it's three to two. Chris is up. Oh man, and Cam just tied it up. First match of the day, and it is this tight, dude. Seconds in the game clock. Hey, hey, hey. Chris needs one more point Three to take this first match. Simo, Simo. They were saying that they traded. The ref just called Chris clean, so Chris takes the first match. minutes in the match, Chris just scored his 11th point, so if he scores this one, he wins. Game over. I just kept that lead, I kept strong, I played with hard, and I came up with the win. So this is the first match between Jay Money, Jacob Johnson versus Matthew Smith, aka Smitty. My name is Jacob Johnson. I'm 20 years old. I play at paintballfit.com. Where are you from? Dallas, Texas. What do you do for a job? I do welding. Okay, sick. This is my coach, Alex Frazier. Oh, sick. My name is Matt Smith. I play with the Killers. We play out of Legacy Paintball, Central Florida. I'm 38. I'm a diver. I scrape barnacles and take props off. You lose your precious iPhone, I'll go find it for you. <laughs> Who'd you have coaching you? I had uh, my boy Callie from the Killers and Dave Riley that I've played with since we were like 13, 14 oh, yeah. years old. These guys are so similar and so different in so many different ways. It's going to be a really interesting match because these two guys, I think, are fan favorites just because of their play styles and who they are as people.
this many snipes from my can, dude. Nine <laughs> so nasty, dude. The one ball is insane. Yep, and there goes the time. Jay Money is going to take the first match against him and Smitty. Jacob's like, you know, aggressive play, um, being on his toes, shooting where he thinks Smitty's gonna come out, where Smitty's kind of a reactive type of guy. Person he comes out and snipes him. There it is, Jay Money takes it. Jay Money wins the second match 2 0 and moves on to the semifinals. Okay, so Avery, Avery Wynn versus Travis Newsom. What's up? My name's Avery. I'm uh, 22, play for the Vegas Brawlers out of uh, Las Vegas. I'm a software engineer. Who's your coach today? I have uh, Nick Chicken Hunt, former Ironman player. All right, sir. That's all, bro. Best of luck, man. I'm uh, Travis Newsom from Valdosta, Georgia. 30 years old, not 40 all over. Yeah, I play for Mutiny. What do you do for a living? I clean pools. Who's your coach for the event? Nobody. No, no coach? Nope. So how'd you prepare for the event? Sleep and work, that's about it. <laughs> and I know Travis used to play pro back in the day. Like he said, he didn't even practice for this. He actually just got a coach while he was here. The boy Hanson showed up. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how either of these guys play, so we're gonna see their play styles here. Travis just got an ace on that one too, so Travis takes it up 2-1. Avery takes the first game. Avery came out there, played very patient. Travis was, like I said, very quick reactive, and Avery had some nice shots. Travis had a really good shot off the break, but the final score, 10 to seven. Travis got two aces in a row, so three to one. If you hear him saying Simo, that means simultaneously shot. So both guys got shot at the same time. It's a trade out. Nobody gets the point. They have to go back and redo the whole thing over again. Travis wins it. Travis is going to take the second one, so they are going to go on to match three right here.
So Travis just won his third match very convincingly. He just won 10 to 1. He's my sleeper uh, for the tournament because that dude is a baller. All right, so Tommy Greenleaf versus Todd Boyer. Todd Boyer, I am 31. I play for the Missouri All-Stars. Uh, I'm out of Kansas City, Missouri. I am self-employed. I own a paintball field. I also run a fireworks stand uh, throughout the year and do some remodeling. My coach is going to be Todd Martinez and Blake Yarber. My name is Tommy Greenleaf. I'm from Boston, play for Motions and Tent, Division II paintball. I'm 21 years old. What do you do for a living? I do like utility work. Okay. Who's your coach for the event? Tony Kearney. Out of the two guys here, Todd and Tommy, I think I have to go with Todd on this one. Dude, Tommy is going out with a t-shirt on and that's it. Todd's going out there with the chains hanging low, dude. Head ref just gave both of them a warning because they keep on overshooting each other. Just as it couldn't get any worse, they just gave Todd an extra point. They gave Tommy a penalty. I guess he got hit and kept shooting and shot Todd. So Todd just took that first match against Tommy. Okay, so this is a rematch that all of us want to see. Tommy Greenlight versus Todd Boyer. It got really chippy on the last one. If Tommy loses the one, he's out. Got it. So Tommy wins match two. They're going to match three. Tommy wins it. Tommy beat Todd, guys. So Tommy is moving on to the semis. So we have the four finals for the semis. One of these guys is taking home $2,000. So the top four will draw out of a hat. One of the players will draw someone. He'll play that person, and the other two will play each other. And it'll be single elimination at that point. Whoever loses that first match will go to three and four, and then the two winners will go on. So the semifinals are set. So Chris Caputo is taking on Tommy Greenleaf, and then also Travis Newsom is taking on Jacob J Money Johnson. Guys, this is single elimination. So if you lose this match, you're out. Chris is about to play his first match against Tommy. Let's watch this and see what happens.
Chris is currently tied with Tommy two to two. So this matchup is very interesting to watch because Chris is so fast and Tommy is like this slower guy. He looks like he could be fast, but Chris is just so much faster than Tommy. Eight to seven, Chris is up with 55 seconds left. Forty-five, 45 seconds left and it's tied. Okay, so Tom, Tommy just, just took the lead with 24 seconds left. Chris sent it, dude. Chris tried so freaking hard and wanted that shit, bro. Tommy's moving on to the finals, dude. I didn't see that happening at all. Tommy being the biggest underdog, he was one of those dudes that nobody knew about, but he's out here balling. Now it is J Money versus Travis. Okay, so Travis is starting off hot against J Money. He just took a 2 0 lead. Let's see if J Money can bring it back. Dude, it's getting crazy. So Travis went up 8 to 4, and Jacob is fighting his way back. J Money wants another one. He's bringing it back. A minute 30, the score is 9 to 8. Well, J Money just aced him. 9 to 9 with a minute and 18 seconds left. <laughs> Travis gets the 10th point, a minute left. I think Travis just won. Travis is moving on to the finals, dude. He beat Jay Money, the sleeper. He was my sleeper pick. Came out, showed up. The final match, Tommy Greenleaf from the New England area. Travis Newsom from Georgia is going down, dude. These two guys were sleepers. I don't think anybody saw these two guys in the finals. And then for third and fourth is Chris Caputo versus Jay Money. This is getting interesting. Okay, so the score is currently tied in the third and fourth match. My money's on Chris, because that's my boy I want to win.
Chris puts another ball on Jay Money. So Chris is on a four kill streak right now. It's pretty insane to watch. Okay, so Jay Money just broke Chris's four kill streak. So Chris is up nine to six. Chris Caputo takes a third over Jacob J. Money Johnson. Leave with a win at least, you know, I'm leaving with a gun, which is cool. Can't wait for the next one. That was a fun one to watch because both of those guys are super skilled. Congrats to Chris. Now it's time for first and second between Tommy Greenleaf and Travis Newsom. So this is the first point of the match for the finals for $10,000, Travis versus Tommy. Tommy was just sitting like right here, cramping up, he couldn't even move. But I mean, when there's $10,000 on the line, you can't, you can't let something like that stop you. And Travis takes the first point. So Tommy just tied it up one to one. He just aced Travis, so now he's taking the lead two to one. So, so Travis ties it up two to two. Travis just got another ace off the board. I think I've seen him get more aces than almost anyone out here today. I think Tommy's, either his gun or his loader just stopped working. That is super frustrating in the finals. but Tommy just scored that, so now it is four to three. So this is how Tommy's gonna have to win. He's gonna have to win with his shots just being on point because he does not have the stamina to keep going. I mean, like I said, he was just sitting over here with all of his gear off, just cramping up, couldn't even move. They almost thought he couldn't even play this. Imagine coming all the way out to California and you just, your body is not working with you, but his body started working with him. He made it out and now he's tied up. I think it's nine to seven, so Tommy is up. It's game point for him. I can, I can feel it. Nobody is breathing. You could drop a pin and hear it. Holy cow. It's coming down to this 10 seconds. If Tommy wins this, he takes it all home. The dude was over here cramping. Couldn't, couldn't stand up 20 minutes ago. And now he's fighting it out to win $10,000. The dude that no one thought would win is out here doing it. Three minutes, three minutes. Get out, on his rudder. Tommy takes it, guys, Tommy Greenlee wins $10,000 in the, in the first ever Hold Mises Grand Finale duel. The underdog came out, took it home, dude. Nobody expected Tommy Greenleaf to win besides the guys probably in his backyard. 
came out here and he did it. This dude was on the sidelines cramping up 20 minutes ago, couldn't even move. Now he's out there winning $10,000.